delicious. Let's get to it. Okay, so first you're gonna add some water, some butter, some flour. Gently add the flour and mix that in. Mix it in until it starts to make like a doughy paste and it starts coming off the walls. And then you wanna just keep moving it around, moving around, put it in a little pot, get it ready to separate into three different bowls like so because we're gonna have three different colors. Then I'm gonna do purple in this one, nice and purpley, bluish, tinge right here and this one's gonna be green you gotta remember there's still yellow in there and I use this thing called color swirl right here I got off Amazon it's gonna actually separate the colors for me and you just simply stick them into different bags it's like a, a cake decorating thing but it's great for making churros so I'm separating it cutting it putting this purple one into the bag right here Wow I've actually never used one of these before so wish me luck I am kind of scared I don't know, mommy. Uh, I'm gonna put this together now. I think it goes like this. Yeah, you just kind of put on this lid thing. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Go, yeah, sure. You screw this thing on right here, and then bam, you're ready to go. Let's go make some churros. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna tighten it all the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a little circle. I didn't pass the circle drawing class in school, but you know, ovals are cl close enough. <laughs> close enough, here we go. Yes, yes. Yes, there we go. So you want to just make a bunch of these circles like that on a parchment paper tray and you want to go ahead and stick it in the freezer. While we stick it in the freezer, you know what, I'm going to just test out this churro and let's see if like it's even doable or if it's going to be a fail like the giant churros, but oh, they actually look nice. Hey, look at that. They're pretty. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze some more. This is just kind of fun now. So if you're making normal churros, this is what you would be doing. You just put them in the oil and you got churros. Look at that. Wow, churros. Beautiful. Ooh, look at that. More churros. This is just fun. I'm just having too much fun right now. All right, pull it out of the fridge now. It should be ready and hard and stiff, and you want to get some oil in your pan, heat it up, grab one of these beautiful churros, put them in the oil, let them cook for a little bit. Yes, and then just take a peek at it. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of pretty. Wow, with the oil and the glistening, you want to put some more churros in there now. And then while the, your churros are cooking, you want to make the cinnamon sugar that goes around it. It's literally just cinnamon and sugar, and you mix it together. It's that easy. But if you want to step it up a notch, you want to add some food coloring, make some more color are here this is some yellow color some blue color look at that pretty blue and then some red color sugar and just mix it all together and just yes yes red yellow blue power now you just check up on your churros again that looks about done to me it took about four minutes and you just throw them in your sugar like this and just make them pretty you know because you're gonna have some red dust sugar on this one and it's gonna be all cinnamony and delicious some yellow dust on that one and then of course the blue dust on that just one simple flip now you're gonna take your churro this is gonna be the base the sandwich base right here so you put it on the bottom you're gonna grab this and then you're gonna realize that the spoon's just not gonna work out for you so you're gonna be like mama let me use your ladle so you get a ladle because I don't have an ice cream scooper broke life you want to get the scooper and just make it so it has this perfect little circle shape and you want to gently place it there you go beautiful Alright guys, it is time for me to try this rainbow churro ice cream sandwich. I was making some cinematics so it's kind of a, a little melty. You no, know, I'm excited to try this either way. Let's take a bite of it. Let's see what it's gonna taste like. Okay, so we got it right here. Oh no, it's breaking. Okay. Mmm. Oh my goodness! Oh. Oh. It's so good. I think I'm about to like cry right now. It's so good. <laughs> my eyes got like water. <laughs> I don't know if that's because the ice cream was so cold or. Oh my. It's so good, guys. You made it. I think I redeemed myself from the giant churro because this actually tastes like a churro this time. I'm so happy, my beautiful marmor. I'm sorry I failed you on the giant churro, but I did not fail you on this rainbow churro. The only thing I would do differently with this rainbow churro right here is maybe use lighter colors. And the best part about this is you can freeze it and use it whenever you want to. I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming and watching today's video. Rainbow churro ice cream sandwich. I love it so much. I want to say thank you to all the new marmors, all the old marmors, all the marmors that have been here before. I called you guys marmors. I want to say thank you so much. And I was just 
I was just wondering, you know, can we get like 40,000 likes on this video for no reason? Because you guys love me and I love you, so I just want to say thank you again, and I'll be here tomorrow at 12 p.m. because I post a video every single day at 12 p.m. So I will see you then. Peace! My beautiful Mormars and welcome back to my kitchen today. We're gonna make something I can eat It's a it's a black waffle, but yeah, you can eat it. Look, let's go You're gonna need about two cups of pancake mix I wanted to keep it really simple for you Then you want to add some water to your pancake mix You want to go ahead and grab some vegetable oil and then get your mixy mix and mix it all together until it is nice and smooth And the big lumpsy lumps are gone now you want to get some cuttlefishing This is what 